Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. It is now June and the crops are growing very nicely. As you can see the corn is looking fantastic. And today we're going to be doing some work for some other people, some other farmers. Since our farm doesn't really need that much work, everything is sorted. So yeah, the chickens are producing eggs. Just a very quick summary. Uh, we should have some more honey. Yep, as you can see we've got two pallets now instead of one. A very small amount of wool is being produced. The wheat looks fantastic. Very nice indeed. Ah, the vineyard, that should look pretty good. Yep, so probably a month or two, and this can be harvested. See how much money we can finally make. And the greenhouses should be fine because they've been given quite a bit of water. Yes, that seems to be fantastic. Okay, so I do have one thing that I want to do after we've done the first contract, and that is to try and find a cassette. I know for sure now that we are collecting 20 video cassettes, which do go into here, I think, game cartridges, uh, but of course I don't have any. So I don't know where they are, I have absolutely no idea, but I do know from one of my viewers that I was pretty close over at the observatory. So I only want to find one. I think we get paid a very generous amount of money, so I don't want to collect loads anyway because it's going to be too easy. Um, but it might pay off our loan, which would be very beneficial. Anyway, first things first, we need to get the spreader on the back of the Matthew Ferguson. Okay, job done. <laughs> it's already there from the previous episode. Uh, we probably don't need to take the pallet fort with us, so I could drop that off. Um, yeah, I did say we were going to put the pallet forks over here. Good. And we're going to go for the biggest job, because it's not actually that big. Despite it being a big field, it won't take very long, because our spreader is massive. Uh, I think it's like 42 meter working width. So field number 15 is our most expensive contract here. We'll accept it without borrowing anything, which is going to really save us quite a bit of money. And we'll take a look and see which field I've actually chosen now, which is field number 15. Uh, probably at the top. There it is. So it is a sunflower field. Hopefully the sunflowers haven't grown too much, otherwise it will be quite tricky to see where we have and haven't been. Uh, those sunflowers there, as we know from a previous episode, are last year's growth. Because we had to reset everything. Whoa, whoa! Sorry, dear. That was close. Don't think I hit it, but with FS, you can't knock over animals or anything. It's, it would just go straight through. Um, and it'd be absolutely fine. So yeah, let's get a bit more fertilizer put into here, because we might as well. There's no point in running out, and whatever's left can go on our own fields. And at some point, I do need to bring back that tanker. In fact, at some point, we need to replace that tanker with a bigger one. So, fertilizer is just here. I'm going to go for two. I could have just used that, actually. I do need to get into the habit of doing that. I don't know if they're both going to fit. Probably not, uh, but we'll see. No, okay, uh, but it was still good, and we can pick up the rest on the way back. There does seem to be a lot of deer out today. Sometimes I haven't seen any, and then today, there's loads. Let's get to fair number 15. Ooh, a hot air balloon. There are many. So, it is somewhere up here on the left-hand side. It's not this field. I believe we take the next turning left. And when we do find this video game cartridge, if I do, I don't know if I'll actually be able to find it. Uh, as I said, apparently I'm close. It is probably a controversial thing to be doing uh, for me because we try not to cheat. And I don't know if it's really considered cheating because it is part of the game. I haven't just gone and put that in myself. Uh, but please do let me know. Do you think I should find more in the future? Or do you think just the one? Just to sort of demonstrate the uh, collectibles. It's also different collectibles, I think, on the Elm Creek map. I think you have to collect a hundred toys or objects or something. I haven't looked. Okay, right. So this is it. This is film number 15. Oh, by the way, if you do hear a racket in the background of my video, uh, we're currently having very strong winds here in the UK. So having a bit of a a battering outside. 
Um, and yes, it might pick up in the video, but I'm sure it won't be too noticeable. Anyway, I'm going to crack on with this. Looking good. It is, however, going to be a bit tricky to see where I have and haven't been. Uh, but I'm sure a little bit of overlap won't be uh, a huge issue. I can imagine there's a lot of collectibles in that castle over there. Since I haven't seen any, they must be very well hidden, or in a place where I never go to. <laughs> or maybe both. Right, so as we do get a very generous leeway, I'm expecting this to be completed very soon. I don't know if we're going to have to uh, go back down here very far, soon find out. Where did we get to? About here. Yep. So let's see how far we have to go before it says contract completed. We've only used about a third of a hopper. Big profits for this job. There we go. It's finished. So let's collect that money. There it is. No expenses. That's what's so good about it. So really, we want to have the biggest field. If we could do Fill number, I think it's five actually, is it? Ah, 26. <laughs> 26 must be the biggest. I think it costs over a million pounds. Yep, 1.1 million. If we could do a fertilizing contract on there, we would probably make about 30 or 40,000. Very generous money. So as I said, we will get this filled up. We'll top it up over at the store. But first let's go over to the observatory, which is next to fill number one and two. Top left-hand corner of the screen of the minimap. Uh, best way of getting there is probably just to keep cutting across the fields. I can see there are a few cut throughs. Yep, there's one here. And then that will take us pretty much to fill number three. This map really does remind me of so many different versions of FS. It reminds me of FS11, further down there. This part here reminds me of Bjornholm, FS15. And that's a good thing, by the way. It brings back many memories. FS11 and 15 in particular because those are the two games which I played a great deal. I did also play um, 09 massively, quite a bit of 08, hardly anything of 13 because I was very busy studying. Uh, I think I have less than 50 hours recorded for that and half that time I was hosting a multiplayer game. <laughs> I wasn't actually playing the game. Okay, turn right and we should be on our main road. This will take us to the observatory, uh, which will be closed again. So as I have absolutely no idea at all where this cassette is, um, this cartridge, I'm going to time-lapse it. And, well, it may be a time-lapse of me finding absolutely nothing at all, but fingers crossed, I'm told that I'm in the right place, so we will uh, try and find it. I found the symbol but I didn't find the uh, cartridge. This time, let's hope it's different. Okay then, let's begin. Start rummaging. Aha! I found it. Get off my field. Com five. Wow. These things are really hidden. Fifty thousand pounds, you see. I did think it was going to be quite generous. I think it's a thousand pounds for each collectible on Elm Creek. Uh, so it's different. That obviously gives us a very big boost. So the best way of spending that kind of realistically. It, well, we could have won something. It's just like winning something, I guess. But it's just to repay the loan. So if we go into here, repay the £40,000. And, yeah, we have 42000 So 
I'm pleased that I found that because I've been looking around this observatory for a while now. This is episode three of doing that. Um, it's taken me a long time, but I, yeah, made a bit of a mess hunting around. Sorry about the pot plants <laughs> and the generator I threw off the side. Don't litter everybody. Don't know why I'm telling you. It was me that did it, but no. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a game. That is the nice thing about a game. You can just do anything. Cut down trees has no effect. Throw stuff in the river. If that's what you want to do. Or throw generators off observatories, which, you know, that was on the top of my to-do list. So please, I can tick that off. Although that collectible was a very, very generous amount of money, we are still going to be struggling massively because the production buildings can be over £100,000 each. Some of them are less, but yeah, it's a nice help, but it won't change things that much. Right then, so I'm just going to fill up this spreader as much as I can do. 70%, not bad. Leaves us with plenty for another job or for my own fields. Let's go over to the computer in the garage and see what that cassette does. I don't know why I keep calling it a cassette. It's a cartridge. The video cartridge. Uh, yeah, it'd be interesting to see. I think I just walked up to it and press R. I really like you can see the cartridge actually plugged into it. So outside your farm. Score, 20 out of 500. You are standing outside your farm, which is located to the northeast. A gravel path runs north and south along the field's edge, and a fork to the west leads into the nearby forest. For some inexplicable reason, a huge humming spaceship is looming right above your farm. Look, a spaceship! So I don't know if I can do anything else with that. I think that is probably what there is on the cartridge. Yeah, I can't see any other controls here. But, if anybody knows otherwise, please do let me know. So this is my fertilizer store just here. The chicken food will soon be removed. They may even need it right now. Um, but anyway, let's just check the used machinery for today. See what we have. Is that, that's the one for the vineyard? It is. Right, okay, so I've been waiting for this moment. Let's get this purchased. I thought I spotted this earlier. 65% off. Seems like a good deal. Don't think we need to do any more work to it. License plates. So let's just buy it. This is a job for the Landini. Now many people have already noticed how capable this Landini tractor really is. And I think it is seriously underrated. It's been able to do many jobs which you would kind of expect it not to be able to do. You put something on the back like that big plow and it runs it no problem at all. So I'm going to use this so much more in the future. It's actually, especially as it wasn't even that expensive, probably the best thing I've bought so far. I really like it. I think whilst we're here we should also buy the cultivator. Obviously it's not in the used machinery sale. Uh, I think having both would be a miracle. But it is cheaper than the sprayer, so we can afford to get it. And I think that will actually finish the uh, collecting of grape machinery. Machinery required to do grape work. Let's just take a look. We're going packages. And then we're going to have to collect all the equipment for the olives. Yeah, it's £5,000. I think we can afford to buy that. Pretty good. Yeah, what do we need for olives? A different harvester. Same sprayer, same mulcher. Actually, yeah, it's just a different harvester then. But the harvester, I think, is more expensive than the grape harvester. Pop this on the front. And maybe today we can do some cultivating and a bit of spraying. We, we only have a very small amount to spray. Right, £3,200 for some fertiliser. I think it's fertiliser I need to spray. I hope it is. Not the herbicide. Throughout this whole series, I've had weed switched off anyway. And that only filled it half. Okay then, so I did do the mulching yesterday. So this is a great opportunity to do the cultivating. I actually don't know the time of year when you're supposed to cultivate between the vines. Uh, but 
I can't really see why it would cause harm. Okay, yeah, it would appear this is the time to do it. Once the grass is growing high, use the mulcher to keep the space between the rows clear. Cultivate afterwards with the disco vine, V, and fertilize. So yeah, it looks like I have done everything in the correct order, which I am very pleased about. So we'll pop this onto the back. I'm going to go up the vines. It's going to, well, in between the vines, it's going to take a little while, I think. I can't imagine we're going to be able to do this very fast. Just a few miles per hour, but there's no rush. We do have quite a bit of time on our hands. Oh, yes. Oh, I got a, an achievement. I read Shakespeare and stuff. Picture of a mole. It's going well. It doesn't seem to remove all of the grass, but as you can see, it's cultivating the ground underneath. I think there's only one suggestion for these vineyards, and it would be for them to be closer together. I tried to place them as close together as possible, but this is what the game uh, wanted me to have. So, yeah, if anything could be improved, I think maybe just put them a bit closer so that the uh, tractor just fits down. And when we flail or cultivate, it does everything in one pass, because at the moment if I was like over here, it's leaving quite a big gap. So anyway, let's get this done. Still very nice to have the vineyard. And that's our cultivation done. Eventually, we'll make this vineyard even bigger. But yeah, as well, I, w I want to get onto the olives because the olives are obviously interesting. And I haven't done anything with them yet. I have placed some before in my live stream. But otherwise, yeah, not done anything to do with olives. They do seem to be a little bit easier but maybe more expensive because of the price of the harvester. Right, okay. Let's just clarify, actually. Grape harvester 242, olive harvester 306. So yeah, it is. It's more expensive. Yeah, so next we are going to get that sprayer put onto the back. Spray the very small corner. The original vineyard, the first bit that I placed. We should see that it isn't fully fertilized. Uh, okay, so it is now, because it must be the cultivation then. The cultivation has fertilized it. Interesting. Well, we do have this for the future. Uh, shame that I can't use it, but I'm well, not complaining. Saves money. So now I'm more desperate than ever to start harvesting. I don't think we have anything else to do. Do need to make sure that we have enough water in the trough, but otherwise, yeah, I think today is pretty much finished with. Let's get this tanker taken down to the river. I know I did find a very nice shallow area just down here. It's a bit of a rough field. Uh, now, where was it where I went down to the water's edge? I think it might have been here. It's not quite as shallow as the other place where we went to. Yeah, not ideal, but it is a possibility getting it from here. Uh, it's a bit shallower there. Yeah, I should have gone a bit further back. Over here. But that is working. As long as I can get out of here, there's going to be no issue. Come on. Put it in low. Yep, 
You can do it, Landini. Better yet, let's try and get out of here. Much shallower. Yes, stay in low. It's much easier in low. There we go. You see, this little tractor has pulled out a fully loaded water tanker. Back at the farm, let's top up their trough. And I'll put the rest into the greenhouses. Nine percent. Oh yes, and those honey crates, I'll get them moved. I put a bit more into that greenhouse, and now this one will probably finish it off. So there we go. Yeah, absolutely desperate for the grape harvest. So I need to get the massive focus and try to put the pallet fork back on the front, take the spreader off the back, and then just allow the honey to keep spawning. I don't want to get in the way. I try my best to get both at the same time. And then we can stack them onto the big trailer. And if we do rest by the morning, there is probably going to be another two pallets there. Stop sticking. Thank you. Yes. Yes, good. Just give them a push. Nice. So with those safely on the trailer, we can go to bed. Food is of no issue. I think the chickens are okay for food. They do for tonight, yeah. But we'll give them the rest of the bag in the morning. Which will be 9 o'clock. So, we had a few property maintenance fees, but otherwise everything is going very well. Uh, so yeah, we're going to pick up that bag of seed. Give it to the hens. We have one more crate of honey, which I will place just over here. And you can see the wheat crop, the grapes, and the corn crop are all coming on very nicely. They will probably all be ready to harvest together, so <laughs> it's going to be very hectic. One big harvest. And it can't really come soon enough, because we need the wheat for the chickens. We're not buying any more chicken food, it's very expensive. And the grapes will be just fascinating. I can't wait to see how much money we can make from a big vineyard. Big probably wasn't the best word for it. <laughs> it's just a, a bigger one. No, I'd, I'd call that a small vineyard. Okay then. Chickens, we're coming. Not sure how much we have in the bag, but it's looking quite full. They're producing their eggs. Eggs are worth loads in FS22. Nice. Almost filled it. Right then, so, yeah, the corn doesn't need any attention. It's all fertilised. And I do like the look of it. Looking good. I don't think the grapes are going to be ready. So, probably... In the next episode, we'll start off with another contract. Because otherwise we're going to be twiddling our thumbs a bit, or just moving straight on to August. I don't really want to just skip straight through July. What contracts do we have? We'll see if we can find one. Fertilising or harvesting? Okay, so this could be a good opportunity to use a different harvester. I haven't actually used that in New Holland yet. And we could do a fertilising one if there is a good one. Field 20? Not huge. 
But yeah, phone number 35. That's close to here. 35. Yeah, that wouldn't take too long. Nice. Okay, well, I think that is actually going to conclude it for today. Well, this episode. There is another episode coming out today. So um, we'll be continuing straight on. Possibly harvesting these delicious grapes. You can see they are here. These green bunches. So for now, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. And until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.